Hello everybody, back at it again with another video. I'm trying to do this little daily video kind of deal, you know? All my sources are in the description box of each video. So I was just sitting around. I was like, what should I do a video on today? And then I had this interesting thought. Has anybody actually looked into kind of, I guess, I guess the best way to put this, has anybody looked into voter fraud for this last election cycle? Because there's already studies on voter fraud in general, but how exactly did that, ugh, how exactly did that manifest itself in this last election cycle? Because there's always sorts of like fake news and allegations and all this other stuff. Well, I have a partial answer for you. I mean, I can tell you what each top election official said per state, and then also what a study had shown and do they compare, whatever, you get the point. Interestingly enough, somebody at the New York Times had the amount of time to contact top election officials, so they're a part of a team in every single state, and ask them a very direct question is of, do you have any evidence of voter fraud in your specific state? Most of the time they talk directly to the, what is it, the, secret, yeah, the Secretary of State. Got my little handy dandy notes over there. This is kind of interesting, because think about it, you're, you're talking to everybody from you know, the super left places like Oregon and California, but you're also talking to the people in Missouri and Arkansas and Georgia and all these other places that actually voted for Trump. It would have a vested interest in to say there was potentially some voter fraud to validate what President Trump is saying. Well, interestingly enough, people are doing weird stuff upstairs. Sorry if you can hear that. Interestingly enough, they have, there have been apparently zero cases of voter fraud, apparently. Now you might be thinking, well, hold on a second, that can't happen, right? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you there. I don't fully believe this. There was a study by New York University, so it was their law school, New York University Law School, and they actually have a research institution, it's called Bremen's Center for Justice. They launched a study and they found out that there is voter fraud, but it's not that significant. It's literally 0.003% between 0.003% and 0.0025%, which is generally right around the death casualty rate for COVID. If you were to count what conservatives would consider to be people who shouldn't count for COVID deaths, you know, like somebody who's obese and then that died of COVID, Things that conservatives claim shouldn't count in the statistics, if all of those are counted, it equals the same as voter fraud. So now we have to ask ourselves, do we not count that rate for COVID to be legitimate, but we count it for voter fraud? Like, is that percentage significant or is it not? I suppose that's the question I will present. Uh, where is I going with this? Oh yeah, Georgia. So Georgia is recounting their votes by hand as a kind of a, a type of accommodation towards the conservative individuals, not only in their state, but also for President Trump himself. Now we'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna change anything. But that is what has been proven thus far with voter fraud. If you guys have seen any sort of credible information claiming something else, let me know. But so far, that's all we have to work with. I'm not even crazy about Biden either. Um, oh yes, YouTube cut my recommendations down by 70%, my video recommendations or the recommendations to my channel because apparently I'm unreliable news because I'm independent even though I post my sources in the description box. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you could subscribe, I would very much appreciate it anyway. Um, thank you for participating in the political system. Yeah. 